T-Mobile's 5G headache. And it really has become that, hasn't it? Uh, they got something on their hands that I think is very valuable. And obviously, it's a very important asset for their company and their network. But it's messy. It's a messy situation. It dates back a long time. It goes back to FCC rules. Who's been using it? You know, um, we got an auction up and coming that could really fix things up here. Uh, let's see what this article is about here. Light reading. This is Mike Dano, the, uh, the editorial director at Light Reading. So T-Mobile is in the process of snapping up the remaining 2.5 gigahertz spectrum licenses. This is scheduled for Spectrum Auction 108. And I think it's January, uh, excuse me, July 29th. It'll be for the remainder of the available 2.5 gigahertz spectrum licenses. These are white space licenses, uh, mostly rural areas. So we're not talking about licenses in New York City or even, you know, Cleveland, uh, Dallas, Fort Worth, Miami. It's nothing like that. All right, we're talking about places where it can just kind of nationalize, uh, you know, some deeper holdings for them in this frequency. There are some issues, though. Investment company WCO Spectrum, which I think they're just an investment firm. That's all they do is buy Spectrum licenses. Uh, they have placed more than $1 billion in offers across 15 different entities for 2.5 gigahertz Spectrum licenses that T-Mobile is currently leasing for its 5G network. So they're trying to buy the Spectrum licenses that T-Mobile has been leasing from like uh, institutions and educational centers, schools, churches. And uh, obviously T-Mobile must decide if they want to leverage its right of first refusal in order to issue competing bids for those licenses. But WCO is going to try to get their hands on this and it's a very lucrative business for them. Uh, could be facing up to $10 billion in additional 5G expenses. If it doesn't, it could become a long-term spectrum renter rather than a spectrum owner. That's the big problem with the N41 5G UC currently. They, they're they leasing a lot of it uh, and a lot of different places. All right, telling the cost here, uh, obviously T-Mobile's going to raise a lot of funding for this. We've seen them take out some, some loans and clear up some cash. So with the auction 108 happening on July 29th, we'll know exactly what they're going to be what they're going to be taking, it's it's 8,000 licenses scattered across the country. Again, it's not uniform. It's not something national. They have most of the spectrum in most places, but they want to get the rest of it, and they want to share up that spectrum because it's really weird to go to a place where they have 40 megahertz and then be in another place where they have 160. And when the standalone 5G becomes like a real thing next year or whatever, they're going to want to do some deeper channels, multi-channels of N41. So you, you could do like a 100 megahertz channel of N41 and then a second one of an additional 60 megahertz if you wanted to do that. They currently can't do that in some places. They can do it here in Cleveland, uh, but they can't do it everywhere. And then certain parts of cities, they can do it in certain parts of that same city. They can't. It's very unusual. Uh, by the county, it's really weird too. Columbia Capital, uh, here are some other companies that typically get involved in these auctions. They're not getting involved in this one. Although it is expected that Verizon could be coming in to, to muddy up the waters here, drive up the pricing. We've heard rumors and speculation that they've been experimenting with, you know, testing radios and antennas and stuff. I, I don't know how much that's going to play into it. I think driving up the cost makes sense. You know, fixed wireless access, you know, if you can get spectrum depth of like 40 to 80 megahertz of it, becomes a meaningful investment possibly. I think, but I, honestly, I think this is more like probably what's going to happen. WCO wants to get involved. They want to become the land owner, right? The spectrum owner, and then have T-Mobile paying them on a, like a rental or lease basis, 10, 20, 30 year leases, and they can make a ton of money. Uh, the Owasso Public School District was recently a story we covered. Uh, these school districts, you know, the T-Mobile has kind of been bullying them a bit, <laughs> not wanting them to share what they've been paying for the, the spectrum on the lease, because then the companies can evaluate if they want to invest in it, and that would drive up pricing. So this continues to be a story. Uh, this is not the first time it's been reported. This is not the first time that Mike Dano has talked about this. But with the auction up and coming, I think it's time that we actually kind of do our predictions, something we like to do here on the channel. It's fun. Uh, nothing concrete. There's no right, there's no wrong. It's completely prediction. You could kind of play the logical and most reasonable guesses, but uh, 
What do you guys think happens? Who do you think ends up taking all these licenses? Do you guys think T-Mobile gets it all? I know that's probably what most people want. Uh, but do you think WCO is able to secure some of these licenses? Do you think uh, you know, Verizon gets involved? We'd heard, we've heard speculation and conjecture about AT&T getting involved in DISH. I mean, they're all in there. All right, so they have applied to be at this auction. And I know you look at the format, it's a little bit different than the traditional auctions we've seen with the FCC. But um, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Make your predictions. Comment down below. You are the voice of the people of the SMT Nation. Let your voice be heard. No right and wrong answers. You guys can just go ahead and sound off. Like, share, subscribe for more. Turn on that bell notification icon to never miss an upload. Links in the description box for my Twitter handle. All business inquiries can go to the Gmail address in the description as well. I'll put a link to this article as well for you guys. It's down there in the description. And uh, my Patreon page is there. Follow us and support us there. Get early access to exclusive videos and content not found anywhere else. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one. Peace.